obviously you carry yourself me and you we get along because of our confidence we know what we bring to the table and we're only getting better mm -hmm. there's always two to three guys i know personally that i'm like i gotta be extra on my shit because this dude for some reason gives me a little bit of issues mm -hmm. who are those guys for you give me three guys that in your whole career that you're like all right i gotta be extra on my shit because for some reason they bring you know a little bit of you know more issues to me uh just over the course of my career or active like players now career in general uh, that's a good question bro it's a great question Definitely. and i hate answering this question not because dudes not because i don't want to it's just like <laughs> You don't want to give them the credit. Nah, not no. even that. I, <laughs> I feel I, you, though. I love showing There's love. I love them. showing love, bro. It's up to us to, like, yeah. I love giving, like, I was, like, one of the first people to really celebrate Cal Calvin Ridley the way that he was supposed to. And yeah. I'm like, y'all better start talking about this dude. Like, I feel like it's our responsibility to give people the juice because, yeah. especially when, when certain people may not know, because yeah. that's what we essentially are what shape the world to and how they think about this stuff. 100%. You got people on TV, but... They don't have the accurate opinions. Yeah, like they're not really, out there really in the know. field like us. Yeah, so I would fact. say if I had to pick somebody, three people. Yep. I would say back in in my early days, um, Sherm, Richard Sherman. Okay. That was like like when I first my first game in the league was against Rich, and I went to Palo Alto High, and he went to Stanford, which is literally across the street from right each other. There. They yeah. used to come over. They didn't have turf, so when it would rain, they would come and practice on our field during lunch. Yep. I would go like sit in the stands and like That's literally, dope. I wore a sleeve on my on my left arm because he wore one sleeve like a Kobe sleeve, not the one that goes up here, <laughs> yeah. like elbow the one, the down. forearm, yeah, one. yeah, like yeah, the yeah. forearm joint. Yeah, and he he wore that over there. He started off playing receiver and then went over there. So I was like the big fan of him. So yeah. and then we go and we clashing in the league. So. Uh, we had some good battles early on. Um, he definitely got the best of me my my rookie year. He picked me off and then said some disrespectful words in the in the uh, in the in the end zone in MC Championship game, and I won't forget that. And it fueled it. I ended up coming back and whooping his ass too cool. there. So good. Yeah, you told him, but, uh, yeah, make sure but, you put that in there too. No nah, doubt. But, but I loved our battles, man. I got a lot of respect for him as a player. So I'll say Rich is like the main name that I think of. That yep. like when I when I think of guys that, that were just a problem. I'll say Akeem Talib was another one. Um, dog you're mentioning dog. Dog. Yeah. and you, you notice i'm i'm bringing up dudes that are a little older now because yeah it's not as much trouble these days bro like you know what i mean like, <laughs> yeah, like and, yeah. and i think I about it. it like true I trouble like i may not have a great game but it it's certainly not because i was manned up all game and it was like yeah. you know what i mean we playing the patriots like these dudes are gonna have seven people watching me as yes. you saw when uh what's what's buddy uh when three came and put his shoulder through my chest jabril. Yeah. yeah jabril peppers yeah. yeah he came and smacked me like that so There'd be certain times, but I can't really attribute it to a guy just Locking gave me issues. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Um, why do they always try to act like Pat Sertain and you? And why do they? They make more of it than what they should. And I'm not avoiding Pat. It's just that we, Pat's Pat's probably the best corner in the league right now for okay. sure. Like I, I I love his game. Um, I got a lot of respect for him as a player. Yeah. Um, I was trying to go in chronological order just to make sure it wasn't no OGs that I was leaving behind. But I'll probably say probably Pat. Again, saying trouble is, is a tough word for me to use because yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say that, but he did. You know, we played each other week one, and I would say, like, I would say he won that matchup because I didn't play anywhere, you know, you, you get going to as the, as the year goes, and that's yeah. week one. So I wasn't yeah. necessarily in my best football shape at that point, um, and I, I didn't convert on a couple balls that I probably should have. But um, he's a really good player, man. I think he's, he's going to probably have the, the league in a headlock for the next however however long. I mean, what was this, year two or three for him? Yeah, yeah three. I think three, yeah. Well, three. I, he's young. It might have been two, bro. I think for his real? rookie year was – I don't know. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe it was. Maybe, maybe this was three. He's um, young though, and there's yeah. so much going around with them trading him and stuff, which blows my mind. Well, they well, just got they got all type of stuff going on over course. there. Like, yeah. I don't know how secure that 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 building is as far as you know. Yeah. Russ started balling out the end of the game at the end of the year too, and then they got rid of him. So yeah. when you get cut and, and dealt around, like I used to think you were trash. Like if you got cut or traded, like that's mm -hmm. what that meant. Like yeah, you were unwanted. Like not there's enough. so many reasons why you get yeah. cut and, and all oh these different God. things now. And, and, and so many un uncontrollables. Yeah, it's like, a business. It's bro. The, the money part, just the happiness. Like you know, the, the, the contract may not work like salary cap wise. So all of that stuff is what it is. But I probably I got him as as the the number one right now though, and he's probably he, he's my favorite matchup um, in the league right now. Okay, that's dope. I like that. That's dope. Um, for you, how, how have you seen the wide receiver position change, like, throughout your career so far being in the league? Mm -hmm. um, just curious, like, because are guys more NFL-ready coming out now, you think? 
I think so, man. Especially at these these big schools, and I don't I don't even know what to attribute it to because a lot of them I thought it was like more pro style offenses, but yeah. it's so many different seven on styles. Seven. Yeah, yeah, seven on sevens. Yeah, all of that stuff. Yeah, these dudes are getting more. Well, I think that this is another thing. When I was in high school, like training was just working out and doing like like the the summer stuff with the team, like yeah, and then yeah. going and like playing essentially. Like mm -hmm. you weren't like really yeah. getting out there with like professional coaches that are sitting here putting you through these like real like NFL type drills and like getting your feet right and yep. you know obviously the 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 way that they're throwing the ball in college now is is different you know we threw it a lot too but yep. I necessarily wasn't as polished as what these dudes are coming in now but I love it because when I first got in the league and like right before I got in the league I feel like there was like two and three guys that would just continuously dominate every year it's a new guy now whether it's a rookie or somebody that's been in the league for Facts. two three years come out of the woodworks you got a guy that maybe been bouncing around on a couple practice squads that'll get some some burn and he'll go out there and go for 150 like yeah. That, yeah. that stuff happens just more frequently now than it used to yes. it's definitely more of a passing game but as max is is loving for sure but Love it. it's uh <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's a different game man these these dudes are coming out it's, it's every every week you get a new dude and yeah. i mean it used to be you studied Marvin Harrison, Santana Moss, like Randy Moss, like Santana you, the, the Moss. Top, the, those, dog. Well, these are my guys. These are no, guys I've, that I bro, love that's what, those are the guys we were watching when we were kids. I mean, Santana. I'm a little younger than you, but Santana yeah. Moss is a fucking no, dog. No, yeah, you caught you caught the tail end for sure. I mean, yeah. especially with you being a football guy. Like I wasn't even as immersed in football as I was until I got like, late high dream? school. I was I didn't play football till my junior year. Damn. So you, had I was, the, you had the hoop dream. Oh yeah, that was that was oh, everything. Yeah. That was yeah. it. I, I mean, I had ten offers in, in basketball. I had oh, I had good. Fresno State and San Diego State in in football. So did you think you were about to do a double? I, I went to Fresno to play both. Okay, that's why I went there to, to do both, and then um, just the acclimation period to school that's and then football and all that stuff. And not to bore you with this long story, but I didn't take care of my academics early in high school the way I should have. So. I was playing catch up the last two years. Like I was taking eight classes my junior and senior year of yeah. of, uh, of high school. And then that. when I graduated high school, I had to take a summer school course to still get into Fresno State yeah. after I graduated. So while they were in training camp, I was literally in t-shirt and jeans on the sideline waiting for my clearinghouse shit to go through. Damn. So that's why I ended up redshirting that year. Okay. And then I wasn't even playing and it was a lot with school and, and all of that shit. And I wanted to make sure I didn't make the same mistake as I did in high school. So I was like, you know what, these dudes are already practicing together and hoop and all that. I'm missing that, that camaraderie with those dudes. Yep. You know what, I'm gonna just stick to football. Like this is what's gonna eventually do it for me. I'm six one, I'm not, you know, I grew five and a half inches in eighth grade, so I thought I was gonna be six nine. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I'm about to, <laughs> this is it. I'm about to have Davis another one. Shit. And then yeah. I didn't really grow again until like my sophomore year. Yeah. Um, or yeah, that was that's when it stopped. So I was like, yeah. football is gonna be where it is. So yes. I might as well just stop and focus on that. But. Hoop is where it was supposed to be for me, though. Have you two yeah. hooped together yet? Me and Max? Yeah. No. Not other than me busting his ass on the on the one in the, mm, in the locker one. room. Yeah. I think I think you <laughs> still do owe that. me. I think you still owe me like. Don't do that. At the new crib, like, like a rack. No, we got <laughs> no, a, at the not, new crib. We got a the mini hoop. Crib. No, we definitely will. We yeah, got this yeah, mini yeah. hoop in the locker room. Well, you moved over by me now, anyway. So. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, we have this mini hoop in there, and it just. It just, I mean, it gets real. Like one of those little tiny yeah. backboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the little mini hoop. And yeah, yeah. I mean, we we fucking get after it. He gets mad, so he had to, you know. I bring my <laughs> so European. He, gets mad. he does. <laughs> I bring. You can break it down for him if you want to. Like, but I, this is what I compare it to. <laughs> my wife, like, I would uh, um, oh, we would hop on, we hop on the box, right? And she she can't play mad or nothing, so we I download Mortal Kombat. Okay. Just and button jam. Just spamming B. Just just sitting there spin kicking the shit out of me. I'm like, bah, bah. So like that's him. him. Just hook shot after hook shot. <laughs> all like big man, like floaters and European stuff like that. Game. Mind you, I'm like, yeah. I'm like Tony Kuka. Shimmy turn like Kobe. Yeah. I'm fading. I'm shooting real I'm really perimeter. getting real shots up. I'm here. I'm shooting. He like just doing a little floater after floater. Same shot. He does European that in horse ball. and pig, bro. I'm He's like, going down floating and I'm being different. stupid. I'm different. I bring I bring my Luca bag to the to the mini hoop. This, yeah, it fucks people up. You have no touch. Bring out the, the European action. I wasn't I wasn't ready for that when we first started. And then I just got to knock down a couple behind the backs off the glass. And yes, you know, he wants. And this is the craziest go. thing. He wants to talk about that shit. His immediate go to when it's a close fucking <laughs> game. He for some reason my shoulders don't even allow me to fucking make this shot because yeah. of surgeries and shit. He does a behind the back shot that banks in. Every single time, yes. it's like ninety percent rate of going Good. in, and it's literally impossible to make. I can't even physically do it. He gets to the point it's where he starts ridiculous. like literally like, 
<clears throat> like like flinching at me when I'm doing it to throw me off now because you already know. No, literally, I mean, Lance Stevenson. Yeah. You know what? You don't make it like my go to like that. You know, in and out. Yes. You, you got to fight fire with fire. You know how yeah. it is. Lance Stevenson blowing in his. Yeah, head. no, legitimately, I'll fucking twitch right before he shoots, or I just <laughs> what's up and just fucking say something in his ear before he shoots. He's like, bro, get the fuck away from me. But it's, I mean, if I got the Euro game, he's got the behind the back. So. We'll have to yeah. get him over. It's to good West competition Road. though, and get a real game going. Yeah, no, no we, for we sure. Gonna, we well, we played, we shot, we uh, got to get some shots up. I think it was in. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, where was that? Dallas. Pre- was that preseason was or was that? that during the season? That was preseason. I think it was Dallas. That was preseason. Right? Yeah, when we had to work out in a little, yep. little public gym or whatever, <laughs> went in there and then public gym, and we had up. like a half court that we were playing. It was either on. that or L.A. Because we went to L.A., we did it there. That was too. Dallas. It was Dallas. That was Dallas. Yeah, that shit was that shit was fun. 